Hey, good morning, Facebook. You know, I, I really just have something that's been just kind of eating at my soul and my mind lately. And it's it's something that festers every now and then. I mean, and it has for years and years and years, especially as, you know, somebody who's been to Bible college and who has a lot of ministry friends and is actively involved in the church and um, and has been for years and will be for years to come. Uh, so just, just hear me out. I, I just want to to share my heart for a moment and and just do that. But there's something that just eats at me as as I sit around and observe a lot of what goes on in in, in uh, church. Not my my church in particular, but just church in general. Um, is there's just this real sense of my my heart that I'm seeing a trend that that we, we're getting increasingly away from the church as a whole of making disciples who make disciples who make disciples who make disciples. We no longer really have that often as as a goal of of our ministries. Um, yeah, we may say that's our goal, but increasingly we create structures uh, and ministries that don't really promote that idea that that's actually our goal. I have this this more deep feeling in my heart um, that increasingly it's become about getting as many people as we can to sit in a pew or a chair, uh, to listen to the guy on stage, um, or on the screen, depending on what kind of uh, church you go to or how big it is. Um, but increasingly we've moved from away from being about disciples who make disciples who make disciples to just coming together to be entertained, uh, and perhaps even transformed, um, by a great set of music and, uh, a great sermon. Uh, we're substituting, uh, at the end of the day, Christian entertainment, uh, which is what it really amounts to for good old just making disciples. If we as the church who believe we have been stewarded with um, the gospel, the faith once and all handed down to the saints for all ages, and that it is our goal as a Christian to pass on that faith uh, not only to others, uh, within our lifetime, but to prepare it for the next generation uh, who should come after us should uh, the Lord tarry any longer. Um, we, we need to, 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 to have the mindset as a church that we're not just there to, to punch the religious clock, to, to say we listen to a sermon, to say we got something to help us through the day, to help us deal with our struggles, our addictions, our self-esteem issues, um, or any of the things that we're going through in our personal lives, as important as that is. Um, but in, instead of seeing ourselves as uh, a hospital for the sick, uh, as much as we need to, um, we need to see ourselves as the church as a community of Christ followers, as disciples who make disciples of other people, who make disciples of other people, who ultimately exist to pass down the faith once and for all, handed down to the saints, to the current generation and the next. Um, but I feel like more and more we're just becoming about the celebrity pastor uh, on stage. Um, and um, that just breaks my heart because, you know, at the end of the day, I really don't ultimately care about too much who's on the platform uh, these days. Increasingly, I find myself just being like, whatever, I, I don't care who I'm listening to. As long as I believe the man is, uh, or woman, <laughs> is uh, presenting the gospel faithfully, and as long as they're living a uh, godly life, um, and they love the Lord, and they love the church, and they want to reach people for the Lord, that, that's all I ask for for um, of any minister who should head up a church. Um, but, uh, I really feel like though more and more, we're just making it become about, um, the guy on stage. And so we don't care about any moral failing he may have, as long as he preaches a good sermon and I feel warmed inside. Um, and as long as the music was good, then, then I'm happy. <laughs> that That's kind of become our mentality. But I think instead of that mentality, we need to embrace a mentality of, well, what are we doing as a church? Yes, we're here listening to a sermon on Sunday morning. But what are we doing after that? Um, are we just coming to hear three or four good songs, uh, take up an offering, uh, and you know do whatever we can to fill seats next week? Because uh, if our goal is just to fill seats next week and 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 have the place packed out every week, uh, then we're kind of missing uh, 
the point as a church because the church exists ultimately to, to propagate the gospel, uh, to share the good news of Jesus Christ, of his death, of his resurrection, and how we can have relationship with him through faith. Um, but if we're just turning it into another form of entertainment, um, you know, I, I really worry uh, about where we're heading um, broadly as a church, especially here in America, uh, where I'm seeing a lot of this more and more. Um, so anyway, you know, I just felt like getting a lot off my chest. It's really been something that's just been eating at me. So let's exist as the church to equip other Christians, to equip other Christians, to be Christians, to equip other Christians, to be Christians, and so forth. Um, because that's what we're ultimately here to do. We're, we're here uh, to make sure that other Christians have the tools necessary to help make believers of other people who, you know, can do the same process over and over and over again. Um, not only locally, but uh, throughout this world. Yeah, the church may use different models, and uh, there's a lot of controversy over those models uh, in order to do that. But, um, you know... <sighs> Anyway, that's where I am, folks. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a good day. Take care and see you later.